Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Leonardo, New Jersey, and this was for another friend of mine on my hockey team. And uh, orig originally, this was done maybe like three or four months ago. Like I, I want to say in September, or maybe maybe even October. Anyhow, I thought the footage didn't come out very well. Uh, I had a setting on my GoPro camera that didn't really come out the way I liked it. But I was going through some old footage, and I decided to put this video together here. So. Um, what we're doing here is we took out that old Federal Pacific panel, which never had the grounds and neutrals isolated. There was a four-wire feeder going to it, but the panel was never updated. So I'm here to update the panel today. So fortunately, um, like I said, the four-wire feeder was there, so I'm able to isolate the grounds and neutrals. Now, this was a job. Uh, is a friend, Brian is a friend of mine. This is his house, and uh, he supplied the panel. So <clears throat> I'm just there putting in the work. And um, using the panel that he gave me. So he gave me a main breaker panel, which is fine. But this still technically is not the main disconnect. So we left the main breaker in place. And we went ahead and isolated the grounds and neutrals as required by the code. So this work was kind of a pain in the neck a little bit here. Uh, there was the old panel that was there. It was padded out. So the old panel was sticking out a half inch past the finished surface uh, surface of the sheetrock, which was kind of odd, uh, and I don't know why they did that. So um, I took those pieces of uh, furring strip out behind, and uh, I was able to go in between the two studs here and uh, secure the panel that way. Overall, this job took me about four hours in total, maybe five hours with the drive time there and back. Uh, it was pretty easy. Like most uh, panel chains out. This is a flush mount panel. So, and what a flush mount panel is, that's when it's recessed into the wall. It's flush to the wall versus the panel I showed you in my last video. That was a surface mount panel. And oftentimes with the Square D QO circuit breakers, these panels, you either have to have a flush mount panel cover or a surface mount panel cover. Fortunately, we had the right one here. And uh, you'll see at the end, I was able to put that panel cover on uh, with no problems. I really like working with these QO panels. Um, but as you can see here, normally the, the main circuit breaker is on the top. But the conductors that were in place, the feeders, uh, they weren't long enough. So I had to put this panel in with the main breaker at the bottom again I, then again i should stress that this is not the main breaker or the main disconnect this is a sub panel uh, nonetheless the feeder conductors were not long enough to put that main disconnect up at the top of the panel so that's why it's at the bottom but as you can see those neutral terminals are right beside where the main breaker is and if that's at the top of the panel and your branch circuits are coming in from the top of the panel that makes for terminate, terminating your conductors very easy uh, so that's one of the reasons why I like the QO panels. They're a little more expensive than some of the other stuff that's out there. And so uh, I often give my customers the choice of what kind of panel they'd like to use. Uh, most of them don't understand the difference between the two. So I give them one price or I offer them a price on one and offer a price on the other. And they usually go for the, uh, the cheaper price. Or I should say the more affordable price. I don't want you to think any of my customers are cheap because I don't think that's the case. Uh, so I think there's maybe, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circuits here. And uh, there was one set of, uh, one branch circuit set of wires, a multi-wire branch circuit uh, that was disconnected previously. And I think that was for an old electric heater or maybe a stove, uh, but they're no longer used. That, those wires right in front of you there, the red and the black, that's number 10 might have even been for an old electric water heater and now there's natural gas. I forget what the story was with that. Uh, but we found that disconnected and we're going to leave it disconnected inside this enclosure. It might have been stored above the panel and just kind of flapping in the breeze there. Maybe at the beginning of the video, you can check that out. I think that's what the case was there. So I really hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching. And I guess we'll see you on the next one.
Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.